Hello and welcome to this pit stop for Cryptid, a game designed by Hal Duncan and Ruth Verveers from Osprey Games for three to five players taking around 45 minutes. In Cryptid, each of the players is a cryptozoologist looking to find the lair of a cryptid, a semi-mythical creature, somewhere out in the wilderness. Now, each of the players has got some information on where this creature lives, but they don't have perfect information. And by working together, or at least deducing what the other players know, you're going to try and work out exactly which of the one hexagons in the variable setup is where the lair of the cryptid is. Now, there's an app that can help you do this, but there's a bunch of cards in the game as well, which will show you how to set up a map for a particular game. These are modular pieces and they can do it in a variety of settings. And it's also going to tell you which structures go on there, be they standing stones or shacks. Once you've set up the board, you're then going to flip over. Each player is going to be handed one of these clue books, and according to the number of players, you're going to look up and see which numbered clue in there that player is going to find out, and they're going to look it up, and only they are going to know what that clue is. It's up to the other players to work out what's going on. Players then, before the game starts, will seed the board by placing two cubes into play. Now, there are cubes here, and there are discs. You place cubes where... The creature cannot possibly have its layer according to the clue you have. So, for example, for this purple player, purple's clue is that the creature's layer is within three spaces of either of these two blue structures. So this means down here is no, and if any player puts a cube in a space, that means that the creature cannot live there. The purple player has managed to put discs in up here via play because this is a possibility and the other players will try and learn what clue the purple player has by looking at where they've placed their cubes and their discs and so on for all the other players. So how are they going to get placed on the board after that initial setup? On a player's turn, they're going to ask a question of another player. So for example, purple might have seen that red has placed down here and said, OK, is it possible that the cryptid lives here to red? And if it is possible, and Red's clue happens to be within one space of an animal territory, this is a cougar territory, this is a bear territory, and they're dotted around, they will place a disc there. And that would give some information to the other players in the game. Of course, alternatively, the dark blue player might say to purple, does the cryptid live there? Now, the purple player will say no, it's not within three spaces, it doesn't match their clue. But that means the dark blue player also now has to put one of their cubes into play. And they know that the lair is on either a desert or a swamp space. So they can put their cube there. And again, other players are learning. Now, as you go through, when you get confident, you can make a guess. Now, perhaps one of the players said, is that where the creature lives? Now, they said it to purple, and that is within three spaces. So therefore, purple would say, yes, that's a possibility. The next player might be red, and that's not within the animal territory. So they'd say, no. So now we know that it fits purple's clue, but it doesn't fit red's, and the creature cannot be there. This will continue on until any player picks the spot and does a question and says, does the cryptid live in the right spot? This happens to be the right spot. And they would go around the board and the purple player would say yes, because it's within range of the blue. And the light blue player knows that it's on desert or swamp. And the red player knows that it's within one space of an animal. And when all the players in the game confirm that's where the creature lives, that's the only spot on the board that will fit the clues that have been given for this particular game of Cryptid, and the player who made the guess will be the winner. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos like this, check out our YouTube channel. For more in-depth coverage of gaming, please find the Game Pit Podcast. Thanks.